All right, y'all. We finna jump into one of my favorite, one of my favorite, uh, I wouldn't say TV shows. I'm going to say one of my favorite all time shows, period. Growing up as a kid. I had a crush on this particular girl growing up. Uh, it's like everywhere you went, you heard the name Punky Brewster. Everyone knew who Punky Brewster was. You know, being in school, all the girls in school used to try to dress like Punky Brewster. And, you know, I was just, you know, a little kid back then had a crush. Let me see. It was Punky Brewster. It was Winnie from uh, Wonder Years. And um, it was that girl, I, I don't really know what her name is. She played in a few movies. I know she played in Lucas. She was um, Lucas' best friend in the movie. If y'all don't familiar with that movie, that's uh, Corey Hine. The late Corey Hine who passed away several years ago. That was one of his movies. And she played in uh, The Goonies. But yeah, I had a crush on her as well. She played in a lot of movies in the 80s. She was like a big thing in the 80s. I just don't know what her name is. If y'all do, hit me up in the comments. But yeah, Punky Brewster. I mean, it wasn't on the air for a long time. I think it had several seasons. But it was one of my favorite. Me and my brothers, like I always say, when I mention myself growing up, I always mention my brothers because we pretty much did everything together. You know, we stayed in the same room. We liked the same shows played the same video games, you know, we did everything together growing up. And this was one of our favorite shows, Punky Brewster. And one of my favorite episodes, I can remember watching it, is uh, the Halloween episode. That was one of my favorite episodes. But we finna jump into this reaction, y'all. It's Punky Brewster, the first five minutes of the series. I'm, I already know I'm not gonna remember this. But I know it's gonna make me feel some type of way. So let's go, y'all. Okay. This part I don't. So she was adopted in this series. See, this part I just don't remember this. I thought she was actually his uh, granddaughter, but I guess not. So it's starting to come back to me a little bit now, just hearing what Punky was just saying. Like, it's. 
I don't know if uh, a show like this would be good today because how this type of world we live in now, people have all type of uh, negative responses to this show. It's just crazy. Like this was one of the best series back in the day, and it's a, it was a joy to me for real. It's a joy to me, and I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of probably negative comments about. You know, this type of series, just like uh, I don't know if y'all are familiar with this series called The Rock. It was uh, based on this garbage man. He had a family, but he was a real serious dude. He played in a lot of movies. Uh, one movie I particular that I remember him in was Aliens 3. He was the black guy, of course, with the glasses. But yeah, he's a very they took that off the air because how serious it was. You know, it was, it was about how, you know, being real, keeping it real about how it is to live. You know that type of life and you know they took that off the air because it was just 100 percent real and with this show it was showing you how you know you have these kids that's out here you know alone with no family trying to survive and they end up meeting someone that helps them through it to get them through life and i don't know if you can get away with a type of show like this today but Back in the day, it, it is what it is, and I enjoyed it. Close line from my window over to the telephone pole. And the local hoodlums been spray painting their initials on my underwear. <laughs> spray paint a novel on your underwear. <laughs> Henry. All right, all right. Henry is another guy that's forgotten. He's one of the great dads of TV back in the day for real you know you got uh that a lot of people don't talk about bill Cosby no more because of what's going on with him but he's still one of the greatest dads on tele in television history um uh drumming from uh different strokes he's one of the best uh michael siever i believe that was his name on the show i don't know if from family ties or think his family ties well whatever show it is he's one of the best the father from silver spoons he's one of the best you know it goes on it goes on and on because there's so many shows out there with great dads and granddads and he a lot of people don't talk about this guy i'll get the dryer fixed jerry gonna make me i gotta find out where i can watch this show because i think i'm gonna start watching it from the f first episode <sighs> i 
It's making me feel some type of way, y'all. She was so adorable, so cute. And you know, the, the different color thing that she had, that was so big too, back in the day, like Punky Bruce with all the colors. Same like crisscross when crisscross came around, how they were wearing they stuff backwards and shit, inside out, however you want to call it, in the colors. Same thing with Punky Bruce. It was like a trend. When that show came out, everyone was wearing different colors. And like I said, oh, that was that was fun to go down memory lane, and, and I enjoyed that. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Were you a fan of Punky Brewster? If you wasn't, hey, too bad. You missed out. And as always, y'all already know, hit that subscribe button, click that bell until next time. Peace, love, and deuces.